Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for deciding to join me while I reset my apartment for the week. I'm just gonna freshen up beforehand and this is my skincare lineup for the day. Happy Sunday. Today's gonna be your average Sunday reset. The only thing is, is that we have a lot on the docket today. I have to go visit my parents really quickly. We have church pretty much every Sunday. I'm gonna take you guys along with me for that before we deep clean the crap out of this apartment. It is by the grace of God that I have woken up early enough to clean my bedroom a little bit before getting ready for church today. I am usually not a morning person and I always gotta rush out of bed and throw on some makeup and literally speed my way to church. But today, I had time to remove my sheets, throw them in the washer, and do a light dusting. I don't know about you guys, but I always use Tide with Oxy and Clorox Laundry Bleach to clean my whites. It just comes out so bright, so refreshed, and disinfected. I can't sleep if my sheets were washed any other way. And for my nightstands, I'm keeping it really simple with some diluted Lemon Mr. Clean just to wipe things down. My mattress always needs some extra TLC because I'm very sensitive to dust but with pollen season around my fiance isn't having a good time either for dusting the bed frame the scrub daddy damp duster always comes in clutch and that paired with the sunlight just shows me how much i'm really picking up and it's wonderful God's Love Overcome sent me some hoodies and it was the cutest outfit to wear to church today so if you want some christian apparel you could use my code for some money off we just left church and we're heading to a nearby farm because we don't have that many farms in our area. We're gonna get a quick little pick me up and I'm gonna browse the produce just in case there's something that catches my eye for meal prep later today. getting a blueberry chocolate peanut butter smoothie and my fiance got a coffee smoothie which is kind of funny because he is fasting from coffee hey. but did not know that the java chip smoothie had coffee in it and turns out he really likes the blueberry smoothie so we are switching we are now going to my parents house because i have a couple things i need to pick up and then we're gonna head to Publix for the main bulk of groceries just got home from my parents house and we were there for a lot longer than expected because it is now 5 p.m. I sent my fiance to the grocery store because I really need to deep clean this house. So let's get started. I always like to start with the bathroom because I feel like it gets me in the right headspace for the rest of my apartment. And the next portion of this video is going to be silent. So I hope you guys enjoy the cleaning ASMR.
Up next, we are going to deep clean the kitchen because as you can see, it needs a lot of work. Lately, I've been loving this tangerine scrub daddy paste. It's been working wonders on my stove and of course, we're pairing it with a scrub mommy. So fun fact, I was not planning on cleaning under my oven today, but when I was baking the other day, I ended up spilling some powdered sugar, so this definitely needed to be done. There was a lot under there that surprised me considering I did clean it a month ago, but I'm definitely glad that I got under this thing today. Next, I'm going to be scrubbing all of my counters using Dawn Power Wash. I absolutely love this cleaner, it's so versatile. I'm also going to be cleaning around under things and wiping down my appliances and spices because I don't remember the last time I did this. Up next is cleaning the sink, which I know is everyone's favorite part.
to clean my bar stools, I am going to be using Tide Powder and Bleach just because it is upholstery. I don't have a fabric shaver right now, but I am going to get to the bottom of this, I promise. I ended up using a pair of scissors to put a band-aid on this problem, which is honestly quite massive, but it'll do for now. And I mean, come on, look at that result. It's a lot better than before, and if you forgot, this was the before. And for my next big project, I'm tackling mopping my kitchen cabinets. And I promise there is a method to my madness. Cabinets are a high touch surface area and there's a lot of food splatter on them. So I'm attaching a new mop head and this O-Cedar is gonna do most of the work. I also got rid of my fireplace and a bookshelf, so I decided to mop this wall and the baseboards. I'm trying out a new product for mopping my floors today, and it's these O-Cedar packs. My upfront opinion is that it's super convenient, I love watching the fizz, and it's mostly naturally derived, so the smell is very faint and not overpowering. seems to have picked up a lot of dirt as well because look at that water dump. And here is my updated living room. Now since most of the cleaning is pretty much done, we are going to be disinfecting my cleaning tools. I first start with letting my mop head soak while I work on disinfecting my sponges. I always let the sponges sit in some boiling water and a disinfectant that works while being diluted before washing them by pretty much squeezing them. Love me or hate me for it, but I always like to clean my bucket as well. I just feel like the bucket holds so much dust and debris that it's good to clean at least every now and then. I also wouldn't feel comfortable putting a freshly cleaned mop head in a dirty bucket. It just seems counterintuitive to me. So sue me if you want, but I like to clean my bucket. I live in an apartment complex and I feel like my neighbors were really staring me down when I was doing this, but whatever. It was getting really hot, so we're taking it back inside to clean my wet and dry vacuum, which obviously needed it because I knew you all saw all that hair. I simply just sprayed it with Clorox and scrubbed all the nooks and crannies with this brush. I mean, come on, why do I need a gym membership when I could literally just clean all day? I swear I've burned like a thousand calories already. But we are pulling through. This is quite literally home stretch. After rinsing out all the dirt, I just spray it with my Dawn Power Wash. Once again, I feel like I'm sounding like a broken record, but this really is such a great cleaner. Not sponsored though. I mean, unless I wouldn't be opposed. Now, I feel like I gotta be honest with you guys about this wet and dry vacuum. It is super convenient, but as you can see from this video, maintaining it, it's super hard. I feel like it's harder than it should be. It low-key just makes me want to stick to my Ocedar mop. The last step is just rinsing out all of the solution from these sponges. I'm letting them rest on this kitchen towel to dry because I honestly don't have the energy to put everything back right now. Now that everything is done, it is finally time to light the candle. And I've been loving this lemon Everspring candle. It's just so fresh and so crisp. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on my next one.